Hi YouTube, welcome to another College Treehouse video where today we'll be making a tier list of the best computer science schools. So over here I have 33 of the top computer science schools according to US News and I'm going to be ranking them based on my personal opinion, um, not necessarily the rankings. So we'll go ahead and get started. First off we got Brown. Brown is an Ivy, it's not really known for its computer science though. Um, it's mostly known for like its medical school, the direct meds great for Brown, um, but not really known for computer science, although it is an Ivy. So I can't give it mid just because of its status as its entire school. People will go there for computer science, um, but I can't give it anything that good. So it's just gonna be good, just good. Next up we have Caltech. Caltech is one of the top computer science schools in the country, and I gotta say, it is one of the best in the world. You cannot, it has so much prestige, so, so many famous people. Next, we have Carnegie Mellon. It's basically like Caltech, like it's once again one of the best in the world, and I gotta give it the best in the world. And I don't know if I can, there we go. It's a little bit above Caltech, in my opinion. Next up, we have Columbia. Columbia is a great school for computer science. I'm going to put it in the great category. I know some people might want to put it in good, but I still think that out of the Ivies, I would still pick Columbia as one of the top ones. Um, speaking of the Ivies, we have Cornell. Cornell is the best Ivy for computer science, without a doubt. Um, none of the other ones really stack up. Cornell engineering in general is great, and it's even better for computer science. I'm going to have to give Cornell a prestigious. Next up, we have Duke. I know them mostly just because of their basketball team. They're always good, but Duke is still pretty good for computer science. Um, it's ranked in the top 30. That's why it's here, and I have to give it a great. Next up, Georgia Tech. Now, I might be a little bit biased um, because I do go to Georgia Tech. I'm here right now, um, and it is phenomenal. I love it. I wouldn't trade it for almost anything in the world. Um, and I have to give it prestigious. Like, unfortunately, I wouldn't go best in the world. It's not on the same level as like Carnegie or Caltech, but it is like as close as you can get to that level. And I really recommend anyone that's applying to computer science to apply to Georgia Tech and come here. Um, up next, we got Harvard. Harvard, 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 Harvard. If it was just the entire college overall, it would obviously be best in the world. Um, it has that prestige, it has that long history of excellence, but unfortunately we're talking about computer science. And computer science is an emerging field, and Harvard, honestly, they haven't done much in terms of new technology and new um, innovations in their college. So that's why they're falling a little bit behind in terms of computer science. And for that, I have to just give them a good, or I'll give them a great, bottom of great. They, they're better than Brown, I'll give them that, but I don't think it stacks up to Columbia or Duke. Next up we have Johns Hopkins. Johns Hopkins, that is another mostly medical school. Um, their, med their medicine program is really great. Their computer science, not so much. So I'm going to have to stack them at mid, honestly. I don't really know what to say about this. They're not great at all. Um, out of these schools, John Hopkins would be one of my last schools that I would pick out of this. Uh, MIT. There's nothing that needs to be said about MIT. I mean, it's MIT. Com computer science wise, it is like literally just the best school ever. I do know some people that made it or like really close to making it, um, but MIT is like the gold standard for computer science and for technology in general. And so that's why it is the best in the world. Next up, we got Northwestern. Northwestern is decent at computer science, actually. Um, even though it's not something that, it's not like the college that you typically think of when you think of computer science, it's still pretty good, actually. I would have to put it in the great category. Um, I know that they have an engineering school that has a pretty good computer science program, but then even their arts and science program, or like their arts and science college, um, still offers computer science, although it's not as good. Um, I'm going to put it at the bottom of great. I'd still say Harvard is better, but mm, you know what? I'm going to stack it above Duke. I think Northwestern is better than Duke in terms of computer science. 
Um, next up, we have Ohio State. Now, let me preface this by saying I was born in Michigan, so I have a deep-rooted hatred for Ohio State and Ohio State football. So, Ohio State, mid, very mid, will always be mid, no matter what the field is, especially computer science, but mid. It's the worst, worst ever. Do not go there. Anyway, next up, we have Princeton. Princeton is another one of the Ivies. I forgot about actually Princeton when I said Cornell was the best one. But Princeton's almost as good, if not better, in terms of technology and engineering and computer science specifically. Um, I will put it in the prestigious category, but the real question is whether it goes above or below Cornell. I'll put it below, um, below Cornell. Although they do have really cool instructors um, and professors, people who've done a lot in their fields, and it would be really cool um, just to be there in general. I'd still have to put Princeton below Cornell though. All right, next up we have Purdue. Purdue is one of those underrated computer science colleges, actually. It's still good, actually. It's under the top 30. It's decent with most engineering, actually. Um, I will put it in good, just because it doesn't have that reputation that a lot of these other schools have, but I'm gonna put it above Brown, just because Purdue's more of an engineering school compared to Brown, which is like, again, more of a medical related school. Um, next up, we have Rice. Rice is once again another one of the schools that's like more medicine focused. They have their direct med um, program. So I'm going to put Rice honestly as mid, like kind of in the John Hopkins range. I wouldn't particularly choose to go to Rice for computer science. All right, now we got Stanford. Stanford obviously is in the best of the world, but the real question is where among those top three does Stanford go? Because it's better than Caltech for sure. The real question is how do I rate it in regards to MIT and Carnegie? Well, Stanford, first of all, is in the San Francisco Silicon Valley area. That makes it really appealing. So I will put it above Carnegie, um, but I still, I gotta give it to MIT. MIT is just too good. So Stanford is gonna come here in second for now. We have UC Berkeley. Berkeley is one of the ones, one of the schools that's rated really high on US News, but I particularly don't see the appeal. I will still put it in prestigious just because they have a lot of innovation, that kind of thing. But I personally would not want to go to Berkeley. Um, so I will put it at the bottom of prestigious, right over there. Um, I, I would definitely rate Princeton better than um, Berkeley, but Columbia, Columbia is not on the same level. So yeah, I think that's a good spot for Berkeley. Next up, we have U Chicago. U Chicago has a pretty good computer science program, actually. If I remember right, it is top 15, but I'm not entirely sure. That being said, um, it's not really known for computer science. It's more known for a liberal arts, that type of thing. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put U Chicago kind of above Duke, or actually below Duke, between Duke and Harvard. I think that's a good spot. Alrighty, now we have UCLA. We have a lot of these UC schools. We have UCLA, UC Santa Barbara, and UC San Diego. So the real question is, how am I gonna rank these among each other? Just because they're all good. So I will say out of these three, UCLA is definitely the best for computer science, in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna put UCLA at the bottom of good. Now out of UC Santa Barbara and UC San Diego, I'm going to pick Santa Barbara over San Diego. UC Santa Barbara is going to be at the bottom of good for now, and UC San Diego is going to be at the top of mid. Next up, we got UIUC. UIUC is kind of, from my initial opinion, it's in this great to prestigious range. I'm going to, where do I put it? It's either going to go at the bottom of prestigious, just below UC Berkeley, or at the top of a great just above Columbia. So I'm gonna put it in great, just cause I don't think it's at the same level um, as like Berkeley, honestly. Anyway, now we have UMass Amherst. It's done consistently decent on the rankings. And for that, I'm gonna just put it, 
mm, let's put it right there. I still think it's a little bit better than brown, um, but it doesn't compare to Purdue that much. Anyway, now we have University of Maryland at College Park. Um, that's another one that I'm not entirely familiar with. It's kind of in the same range for me as UMass Amherst, um, just in that good range. So I'm just going to plop it right there. Um, there's not really too much to say about it. Michigan. Michigan is another one of the schools that's in that great to prestigious range, kind of like UIUC. Um, as I said before, I was born in Michigan and I got into Michigan in state, um, but I picked Georgia Tech over it. I would pick Princeton over it. So, and I would, would I pick Berkeley over it? No, actually, I don't think I would. So that puts Michigan right up there into that prestigious category for computer science. It is one of the best in the world. Michigan engineering in general is great. Anyway, up next we have UNC Chapel Hill. It's great for computer science. It has a decent history with it. I will say that it doesn't necessarily compare to like Northwestern, um, but I put it at the same range as Duke. So I'm going to put it a little bit above Duke. Um, that might change towards the end. I'll think about it. But North UNC, Duke are kind of similar for computer science. UPenn. UPenn is another Ivy that's decent at computer science. I wouldn't call it great. Um, Cornell and Princeton are definitely better than Penn for um, computer science. Yeah, UPenn is an Ivy. Okay, just double checking. But um, yeah, Penn is a great computer science school. The question is, where do I put it? I probably put it in the same area as Columbia, to be honest. Maybe right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it a little bit below Columbia. Just because if I had to pick between Columbia and Penn for computer science, I would pick Columbia. Like just straight for computer science. If I were to do like a dual major, I know Penn has a lot of great like um like the business school is top notch. And I, if I were to choose between the two, I'd probably pick Penn and do like a computer science business dual major. Um, but if we're going straight off computer science, at Columbia gets the edge. USC Trojans. Um, really excited for the football team, but we're talking about computer science. Um, and in that, I have to just give it good. I will give them good. They're better than UCLA and UC Santa Barbara. They're better than Brown. I'm going to put it at near the top of good, actually. I will say I think it's better than UMass and Maryland, um, but each to their own. Anyway, now we got UT Austin. UT Austin is another one of the schools that's good for computers. It's great for computer science, actually, but it's more focused on like the hardware side of things rather than the software, um, at least from my understanding. I know some people who applied and some people who got in, but chose not to go. Um, I'm going to give UT Austin a great, and it's going to go right there seems about fine. It's in that great range just between Penn and Northwestern. I think that's a good spot for it. Um, if it was good in more of the things that I was interested in, like artificial intelligence, like just software in general, I would put it a little bit higher, probably above Columbia and Penn. But since it's not, it gets pushed down a little bit. Anyway, next we have UVA, Virginia. Um, they're a good computer science school. Um, there's nothing too great about it, nothing too bad about it. So I'm gonna plop UVA right over here. I still think it's better than UCLA. Next we got uh, University of Washington. Um, they are very surprising for me to be in the top five or the top six on um, the US news rankings, just because I'd barely ever heard of it before. Um, I will say just like that recognition, if they can continue that up, or they, if they can continue with that, then that will make them um, a pretty prestigious school actually. I'm going to have to be limited to put it in this good to great range. Um, so I'm going to put it at the top of good actually. The US News ranking is making me a little bit biased towards it, um, but we'll see how they do in the future. I think that's a little bit more important. Anyway, now we have uh, Wisconsin Madison. Um, they have been consistently pretty good at computer science. Um, very good actually. Um, they've been in the top five for as long as I can remember, as long as I started looking at it, which would have been like four or five years ago. So I'm going to put them in the great range. Um, right there makes a lot of sense. And anyway, last up we have Yale. 
Yale is another one of those IVs that's not really known for computer science. It's mostly like um, a liberal art school, that type of thing. Not really an engineering based school. So I'm going to have to give them a good. Um, they're not on the same level as most of these, actually. I'll put it with. I'll put it between UCLA and UC Santa Barbara. So, anyway, that's my final computer science rankings. Anyway, if you like this video, um, check out more of our content and make sure to subscribe and like the video.